actually I'm like holding back tears a little bit now because it's yeah. been fucking hard. Like it's, it's yeah, man. But do you guys really dress for men or do you dress for other ladies? But relationships are odd nowadays, eh? These girls are like 16. We call arms. those Decepticons. Decepticons. <laughs> Decepticons. Optimus <laughs> Fine. Hot bod is gonna mean that you're also working. Dad bod means you're a home exam. First of all, you're twerking and you're working. Then <laughs> yeah. You gotta choose which one you wanna do. Twerk or work, baby. Actually, choose. no. Oh, this is traumatic. You yeah, even have the so in front of me? <laughs> it was 3.21 p.m. Oh, oh, right. You, wait, you were the white friends. So white right. friends. <laughs> Take it, take, it, take it out to the beach for the first time. I have moved back in with my parents. What do you, you smoke joints in the house? A list that had been sent out. And again, I haven't checked this myself. This is Epstein. Yeah, Jeffrey Epstein. Ooh. Everyone had gone to his... Michael Jackson. Oh, well, oh, surprise. He was the MJ. Wow. Come I know, on. Bro, King of Pop. No. King of Pop was popping. <laughs> Yeah, give me all your attention. One time for the misfits. Through the doors open on the highway. I promise you I won't miss this. We're okay. back where it all began. Where you began. Yes, mm. we're back where it all began. Back to the the hi- the Hilux reel. How did you just say? That boom, yeah. 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 That I don't get jealous when you two do work without me. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. I yeah. cry. But <laughs> my um my lady friends. Yeah. Are, are, are really really finding you both quite um, funny. How do you say attractive? It's I oh, know. Every I, I get asked if you two are single so often. <laughs> what? I'm wearing a ring and I'm always looking crusty right. sometimes. Just no, to, but you both have got quite the upset fan club. The, the established order. I don't yeah. understand it either. And we talk about our partners. <laughs> Every single episode. Yeah. But well. you know what some women are like? They just like block that out. Yeah, <laughs> you know, they like oh, 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 they, oh, 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 oh. they just see a goalkeeper, but they know I they can, I can chip, score here. They can chip this. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, but it's weird. Hey? Thank you, Kerry. Please thank tell you them. To your thank friends, you. Wow, I mean girl. look at Thank you. I would never suggest, you know, one stepping out of one's relationship, but I just think yeah. it's nice for your egos to know that yeah, it's just nice. Yella is sought after now. Thank nice you. Thank you. Thank you. But relationships are odd nowadays, eh? Yeah. Because People, people don't take them, like some people take them seriously as you should. And some people just like, yo, cheat, cheat, cheat on a daily. You know what I mean? It's not like, it's, it's normal for some people. No, what that just says a lot about the, the caliber of the person you're speaking yeah. about. So No, in general, like nowadays relationships mm-hmm. aren't like what they used to be. Remember people back in the day, like our parents, they would just like, Date and then six months later they'd be married, you know? Okay, yes. But there was also infidelities happening. Big time. Just like yeah, because sometimes. when you were married and yeah. in, in the eyes of the Lord, mm. through thick and thin, good and bad. Sure. But I had this conversation with a friend yesterday actually. We were driving home from a dinner and she was talking about we were talking about a guy that's been caught cheating recently. Mm. Mm-hmm. Someone we know's partner, right? Yeah. Mm. And we were saying how there's nothing you could literally, like if you want to smash someone different, two different people a day and it's consensual, there's nothing wrong with that. But then don't get married or mm. don't be in a oh. committed relationship because yeah. if you are someone who says, I really like to just play the field, nothing wrong with that. Sure. Mm. But then don't be like, do you want to be my boyfriend? Yes, want to be together forever. And then I'm like, yeah. ba-da-ba, ba-da-ba, ba-da-ba. but yeah. feelings always get involved when that happens. Yeah. Every time you'll be, you'll have that thing where you guys are saying, okay, no, we're just smashing. But then, feelings. Kerry, you're telling me that's never happened. What? <laughs> <laughs> of course, yeah. feelings, feelings. Of course. But I'm, yeah. not, I'm, not, it, like, I'm sure. not looking to, you mm. know, do like smash and grabs. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, so, yes, yes, yes. But when, you, when you're younger, everybody goes to a stage where it's just like hookups, hookups, hookups. I'm just you know? trying to find myself. Like Punda becomes hugging. It's the same thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, okay, I've never been, yeah, I've never been in those levels. Oh, you never? That's quite cool. Um, never? Okay, oh, yeah. I know I'm yeah. going to sound like the 40-year-old that I am, yeah. but... 40? The one... Yeah. Okay, we'll, yes, we'll, everyone yeah, always yeah, acts we'll surprised. Go back we'll go always back there. Always acts surprised when I say my age. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, what? Yes. Yeah. Anyway. Juzani Zoom is 41. Juzani is 41, eh? What? What? What are you guys eating? What is this generation eating? What are you guys doing? You guys don't look old, eh? I know know he's got a kid, but I'm child-free, and I think that that has kept a lot of the the anxiety away. But what I mean is I used to live right opposite a beach. Okay. And I was noticing the women there, I mean, looked like that caliber of 
could be making money on the side with one's body. Mm. And then when Premium I got to though. know the, like, like, the community yeah. more, these girls are like 16. And I just, when I was 16, guys, I was so green, so green, like sure. so green. And I think these girls are like TikToking and G-strings and they're already having – you know, a little bit of work done. And I was like, this is yeah. madness. It must be very confusing for yeah, boys when yes. you're so young. It yeah. happens. We, so we call old. those Decepticons. Decepticons. <laughs> Decepticons. <laughs> Optimus. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. Because they, they, they portray themselves to be a lot older, yeah, but sure. they're actually not. Mm. So mm -mm. When, yeah. when we were young, uh, like in varsity, there were many Decepticons. Yeah. Many. But but in, also in like, clubs and all that stuff. They're everywhere, bro. No ways. They're every because sometimes you're seeing something else, you're thinking, yo, this girl's nice. Like, I want to ask her. Yo, she's 13. Th Whoa. Oh. No, no, because, I'm just saying. no, it is. Because it's the work, that's what I'm saying. The work is number. being done now earlier. Yeah, and then obviously, yeah. and I know again, I'm going to sound yeah. like the 31 year old sure. that I am, that it's just. Everyone's it's watching TikTok, it's doing yeah. things. And I know women my age who are mm. taking their own daughters to doctors mm. to go and just That's have happening. preventative yeah. Botox. Yes. And so we've got these girls that are already getting work done, 18th birthday boobs, like that mm. kind of thing. So I do understand it's confusing. It 18th is. 18th birthday boobs, bro. What's happening? For my 18th, I just wanted a car. You're Yo, getting titties, but bro. But even a car, but what's happening there? Hey? Yeah. Well, look, I mean, guys. Is it peer pressure? Well, no, the whole, that's what the it's whole world the looks like. Make me sweat, make me hard. You see now, those are bouncing. Bah, 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 bah. I'm like, no, this is dangerous. This is dangerous. And your son's gonna be there, like, mm. Mm. Hey, that's that's the cool thing about having a son. You only worry about one penis. <laughs> <laughs> you worry about one penis. <laughs> One. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, gonna, you, you have a daughter. You have to. If you have a daughter, then you worry about a lot. But if you have a son, you just worry about one. Mm. Just one. Just that, one. That's, that's, that's the rule. Son fun. Yeah. But dads and dads and sons have, like, it's, it's chilled, you know, the relationship. But dads and daughters, there's always be. I wonder if that will ever change. Big. I wonder if yeah. that idea yeah. of, like, yo, my boy, yo, yeah, he lost yeah. his virginity. That's my boy. Yeah. My girl, I swear if someone touches you, I'm like, <laughs> I wonder if yeah. that'll ever change. Yeah. No, you know, it's, it's, because, it's instinct. It's because boys, boys know boys. Yeah. You know, we know how naughty we are. Mm. So we don't want that happening to our kids. Yeah, But sure. then that's why they also say it's like a, if you have a, a girl, yeah. that means it's God saying, you are, yeah. you are a naughty boy. Yeah. So now you got to have to deal with your kind of people. So yeah, it's interesting. They always say that like, yo, yeah. you're going to have a daughter, bro. Yeah, with the see, way you behave, you're going to have a see, daughter. You see, if you're behaving badly, you're, you're going to have, have a daughter. daughter. 18 birthday boobs on the horizon. You see now, you see There's now. a lot of accounts there, bro. Yes. Daughter bundles for TikTok stories, hair extensions, <laughs> oh, nails, my. toes, pity, manny. Can I ask you, boys? Yes, yes, yes. I don't know if I need to ask your opinion of, or if you even notice. Okay. Lashes. Do you boys notice if a girl's had lashes done? And do you have an opinion of lashes extensions? Nowadays, I do. Yeah. Why? Because my wife does them as well. Yeah. yeah. So then you can see the difference. And what, what do you think? Because their eyes are like, oh, you like, you they, like, they, they, you, you, you look at them, you're like, yeah. Yeah, there's something it nice enhances. about you. But I don't really know what it is. But That's, it's just, it, yeah. But then all of a sudden, yeah. As, has your wife, oh, I can't ask you because it's your wife. So um, let me not ask yes, you Yes, she her. has. Has she gone too much? Has she gone Oh, no, that? no, these ones. Yeah. No, no, no. She hasn't Indicators. done those. Oh, but I have seen those. What did you think I was talking about then? <laughs> no. <laughs> Indicators, no, I don't know. yeah. No, no, like, wait. <laughs> you just talked about your wife's eyelashes. She and does. then I said, if you got eyelashes, and you said no. No, she, sorry. I, uh, she, what do you think? Eyebrows? She, no, she eyelashes. Eyelashes. Yeah. eyelashes. So she doesn't have those ones. Those the ones stuck on. Yeah, no, she has those those proper ones, you know. They, they stick oh, on. Yeah. They actually, yeah. it goes and she lies down, they tape and they yeah. put on. Yeah, and then they have to almost like get an update every like month every or something. Every three weeks. Whatever, yeah. yeah. And you yeah. know, okay, so I used Hectic. to do them in like 2019. Yeah. I tried. Yeah. Because they do, they make you look, you wake up and you're like, I look hot. I look hotter. Yeah, yeah. You don't but even you know do that? Yeah, you can't wet you. them. And if yeah. you wet them, you've got to brush them. All girls are walking around with those little like brushes in there. Yes, yes. Oh. Yeah. And now, and you know the thing where when you do something a little bit, then you stop noticing it, so you do a little bit more and a little bit more. Oh yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. And now, have you seen those dolls that look I've like you can't even? I've seen dolls. Like, yes. It's a lot. Her nose is yes. under a shelter the so whole day. Ex 
exactly. That's what I want to know if you boys even notice because I no. know the girls are not doing it for other girls. Yeah. I notice the big ones and then I notice the long ass nails. And what do you guys think of the nails? nails? What is your vibe no with like saying I like those fringe tip ones, bro. Those are nice ones. Which ones are those? You know the ones where it's like nail and then it's white to the tip? Oh, my cute. Yeah. Oh, I like those fringe ones. Manicure. Those are those are those are pretty, bro. Those, when girls have those, I always, I'm like, ah. Those are uh, fringe manicures. Yes. Yeah, those, yes, those, yes, those yes, are the best. Yes, yes, lengthwise, do you have? No, they must just be relaxed. I don't like none of those long ones. Have you seen you. those long ones? It's like, hey, what what I do look at those those ones with the long nails. I'm like, mm, you could scratch my back though. It would be very nice. So eh? I went to just missionary a, as a back scratcher. No, <laughs> no, as a back scratcher. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's what people scratch. You know, you know when you say scratch I'm, my back. I, was I like, know oh. what you meant. Oh, like, oh, he's a married I'm, man. I was generally yeah, thinking, you don't Yo. stop. <laughs> When you marry, you just start. <laughs> but that's why I'm just wondering because I know that a lot of women do things mm. for themselves. Yeah. But isn't it to feel prettier or better so that yeah. often if you are if you are heterosexual, the other sex can like you. Sure. Well, and I it, wonder if boys even notice these things. Yeah, well, we I was gonna we do, I was I can ask I you the do. same question. Like, do you guys because I know there's always a story about girls and how they dress and stuff. But do you guys really dress for men or do you dress for other ladies to look at you and be like, mm, where did you get that? Oh, this is bougie. Mm. <laughs> so the, we will say we dress for ourselves. Yeah. But I'm telling you that if I'm at home by myself, I'm not putting on makeup. I'm not brushing my hair. So then I'm not dressing for myself. Mm. E- uh, probably so that you uh, you get some sort of attention mm. ah. and you are definitely critiqued more by women, but yes. I think you want to be double t- took, take seen mm. by men. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I can't talk for everyone and I'm no fashionista. I wish someone would tell me how to, mm. how to dress nicely, but I definitely don't think that women are doing it for themselves. Sure. You know, but do, so. do women notice when a man like has a haircut or he's well dressed. Do yeah, guys, of course. Is the haircut one a big one? Um, well, yeah. If it's a nice haircut, and you yeah. can notice it, definitely. And the beard trim. Yeah, but you know what else I noticed? Did you guys watch that weekly. Beckham documentary? We, yeah, yeah. So this is what we as society have done. We have created a woman who we have to, or we fill her, Botox, everything to re- like maintain away. David Beckham in his old state with his creases on his forehead is looking mm. the finest he has ever looked. Mm. Death for hotness. He's peaked. He's peaked. Mm-hmm. Like, and that man was dressed And he used well. to look nice yeah. even you. Yeah, yeah He's always been a star boy. My, yes. Every one of my girlfriends that have watched that said they got a tingle in town after really? watching that. Absolutely. Wow. He gives a tingle in wow. the good places. Yeah. Okay, so that happens to girls too. Woo, tingle in town. What yes. Is that? No, <laughs> is that also tingle? <laughs> Guys, make oh. your vertical smile smile. Come on, man. It's a tingle. It's a tingle in it's town. It's a tingle. I'm not married yet. So I don't know about those. Josh, things. what do you mean? Waiting till marriage. Josh. Oh, of course. Yes. Marriage. I don't know yeah. about tingle in town. Yeah. Come okay. On. Come so, on. Josh, our virgin, yeah, here. Yeah. yeah. We're yeah. straight. Mm-hmm. Like, that's right. 2026, we out. No. 2026. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. the, the haircut thing is big. Yeah. What else do girls notice automatically in a guy, though? Smiles. Like, smiles. Ah. I mean, not every girl is a smile girl, mm. but. Uh, definitely smiles because mm. you can you can tell a lot about a, a dude and his personality the way he smiles or laughs. Mm. And then unfortunately, guys, your external represents your internal, and that's like a very deep way of also saying how you respect yourself. You can see on the outside, okay. the choice of your tattoos, how your body looks. So like I can see whether you do or don't exercise yeah. just from what you look like. Okay, but hang on. But mm, Chucks, yes, but you've got such a personality and shines You through. know what, what I'm going to say is Oaks love the dad bots. Yeah. The dad bots The girls bots. love like the dad, dad bots. bots. Each, not each dad to their own. Yeah. Each yeah. to their own, yeah. yeah. So, and they're also low maintenance, bro. Like what, the dad, dad bot, hey, it's, it's, you can hit the gym twice a week. It's you a know? sign of wealth. Though. You know what I mean? It is, hey. Like a little <laughs> yeah, bit of a belly, you know, you're making money. Bro. At, least, at least three tenders. Yeah. Can't exercise, I'm working too hard. There we go. And, and, and like, Guys with six packs, boy, don't provide. You're yeah. just gonna be there, like. Yeah. What do you think I I'll bring know, to the table? Is the hard rock abs. Hard that rock you have abs. To lie but that's what some of my girls are talking about. Like, you, sometimes you go past these construction workers; they're having their break in the sun. You're like, that oh, is ripped to shit. Yeah. 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 It's for real. Like, for real. That's model. definitely for someone that you want to, like, you know, to spend physical time with over the dad body. Until just he, not he not tells you he's he, he's actually. The builder, then you guys, the ladies, they now he's we, sweating he's like, Okay, but first of all, you can like, have you're gonna have a super rich dude who's gonna have to hi- hire a builder. We can be like, honey, that's, build me a house. That's dad bod. That's dad bod. But I'm saying dad bod is gonna have to hire a hot bod to build the house. So you can just go for hot bod and have him build the house. But yourself. hot bod can't pay the bills. 
Odd bod is going to mean that you're also working. Dad bod means you're a home exactly. First of all, you're twerking and you're working. Then <laughs> yeah. you got to choose which one you want to do. <laughs> Twerk or work, baby. Actually, choose. no. I, I beg to differ. You can be materialistically successful and still work out and ha- make time. Oh, I guess. Because actually, guys, I'm going to go all the way back to like a little bit deep here. How many percent water are we? So some of our organs are like 70 something percent. Our brain is many percent water. We yeah. are a lot of water. What happens to stagnant water? It gets dirty. You don't go and drink from water that's not moving. It's bilharzi. It's disgusting. Our oh. bodies are water. We need to move. So s- just because you're wealthy and you can sit down and watch TV instead of having to exercise doesn't mean that your quality of life is better. No, sure. So sure. straight up and down, I'm always going to veer towards someone who's Physically had some sort of up. movement. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But sometimes it doesn't show because I know some guys that are big that are very fit and very strong. You know what I mean? Mm. And then if you look at him, you're like, okay, dad bod, but this guy's actually bloody fit. Mm. Like rugby as well. Like if you look at some of the rugby. Ox and chairs. That's, that's me. That's, that's me. That's me. Yeah. No, but like if you look at Ox, you're like, okay, dad bod, but he's fit, bro. He's, he's yeah, a yeah, yeah. winner. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Then you look at Trevor as well. Mm-hmm. Like the other day I was shocked because I saw Trevor's training. He posted a video on his Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um, and he looks like a big guy, like bulk. He is bloody fit, bro. You yeah. thinking of Bongi Mbonambe. Sorry, Bongi, Bongi. Yes, because I Trevor. also saw his hey? six, and he pack. Had a six pack. I was like, whoa. And he's big and he yeah. has a six pack. Yeah. He's like, I'm a dad bod, but I'm not. No, that man is No, I hear you. He, he is. was hey? recently yeah. one of the guys at our Live 7 Club. Yeah. He... Performed a really amazing save. Actually, he was interviewed on a radio station, yeah. a, a local radio station that we of will course. not mention. Of yeah. course. But um, Wayne, you know, amazing dude. Also a bigger boned dude, like yeah. a bigger dude. You must see him swim, yeah. guys. You will never. Because you see him and you're like, uh, he's a machine in the water. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like a machine. He'll How swim else? through a rip current. He, like it's amazing. So yeah, you don't. But he still exercises. Yes. So, sorry, yes. what were you doing? The life, uh, uh, yes, lifeguard. So I am. Um, I'm a master's lifesaver, but I'm still doing my qualification. What is that? So master's just as anyone over thirty. So you have your nippers, your niplets. Okay. First of all, the babies, then so your nippers, the nipples. nipples. Then you get your juniors and your seniors, and yeah. then you get different qualifications. Yeah. And an LA is a lifeguard award. And then yeah. masters doesn't mean you're amazing. It just means you're over a certain oh, age. Oh, so it's age. So yeah. it's a really nice thing to do. Like we train on Sundays and also you learn stuff, guys. Mm-hmm. Think about it. It's mm-hmm. like whether it's CPR, choking, how to deal with stuff, just ba- how to use an oxygen tank, how to use the defibrillator. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> what are you laughing at? You're a joke. Ah. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, 50 shades of grey yes. shit that you guys are learning down there. Oh, they're saving it's lives. So, except to be fair, there's been so much E. coli. I haven't done any water oh, stuff, so oh, I'm really good yes. on the stand. So we, we actually had the, the E. coli water thing, did we not? We're going to blame mean? it on the water. Oh, yeah. Did you guys both get sick? No, we got Dude, sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This weekend. Oh, my Had you gosh. been in the ocean? No. I've never had to do the combo, <laughs> boy. Yeah, I've never, have you done the co- you did the combo? This no, weekend. I didn't do the combo. I had to do the combo this weekend. <laughs> well, you're on the toilet, but you need to vomit. Now you you here, yeah, but I need to go to the sink, so you can't move. Hey, eh? Dan, you've had that. No, you just need a bucket with you. I now you that. you can't have a bucket if you on holiday with your in laws, boy. Now you're well, sharing a bathroom. Bucket. Now you here, but you need to be there. Now you trying. To- Hold on, but did you go in the ocean? Because Chuck said he didn't go in the no, ocean. So where did you get the We just had food poisoning. We no, we had food ocean. poisoning. But yeah, yeah in Durban, so same but, thing. But Probably washed the meat with the water from... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. <laughs> yeah. But so, um, there, were, there were a couple of uh, incidents in the in the sea lately of people drowning. Really? Yeah. There was one in oh, sure. Musenberg. Oh, yeah. Sorry. There, yeah, there was a drowning in Musenberg. Yeah. Is that because... The the people and they say most of the people who drown can actually swim, bro. Yeah, I think it's the That's rip. That's what they say. What what happens when that rip? Do you guys know what a rip current is? No, please school us. So it's a and brand. I am obviously if I say something that's incorrect here, please go and if you're watching this, go and Google They'll it and make sure comments. you know. And always, if you go and swim at a beach, look, swim between the yellow and uh, red flags because yes. that's where you are being watched, yes. right? Yeah. But so let's say you've got um. I mean, you sat in a bath, let me put it this way, and then you mm. let the plug out. Mm-hmm. And you know how the water runs around you. Mm-hmm. So we have a sand bank, and then there'll maybe be a dip on either side. So the water comes in with the waves, and then mm-hmm. it will always run out to the lowest point. So you let out your plug, and it runs around you like that. Mm-hmm. So as the sand bank is at the top, it will run 
on the side of the sandbank mm -hmm. and that'll create like that rip out, right? Mm -hmm. So you mm -hmm. get sucked into it. So a lot of surfers and lifesavers will use the rip to get out quicker because mm -hmm. it takes you straight out. But if you aren't sure what's happening, you're getting sucked out, you get scared. What do you do? You try and swim back to shore. Mm -hmm. So now you are swimming against the current. So if you get into a rip current, you always look where the ocean, I mean, where the shore is mm -hmm. and you swim out parallel to the shore. So you swim out of the rip current. If that isn't happening, just be still. Keep your head up. Try and like hold yourself up and let it take you out because it will bring you back in. It does this, out and in. So it's scary and sometimes you're taking kilometers away. Mm. But if that does happen, kilometers. don't swim back to shore. Swim sideways yeah. out of the rip. Yo. But always make sure that there's a lifeguard if you're yeah. going to swim in the ocean yeah. because that's yeah. the thing. Like Respect the water. When you are yeah. actually in a drowning okay. situation, this is called active drowning. So active drowning means I've still got enough energy to go, guys, help me, please. An actual drowning, a passive drowning is when someone's got to the point where there's nothing left. And mm. that can happen within 20 seconds and they aren't even struggling. So it just looks like someone's like that. And then you're out into the water and once you're there, you're, you're there. Good night, Mr. Tom. And then it's about two to three days before your body then floats up again. Sad, bro. Two to three days before your body's back up again. Yeah. Actually, you know what? You've got me an idea. Um, we two must get to MJ to come days. and do a, yeah. an interview because he's the one of the best lifeguards here. He's the trainer for yeah. LSA. MJ and Kize. Some of the stories he has. Crazy. Yeah. I'm more scared of the shocks, bro. Because you know when you get taken out, I'm just saying, like even when I'm in the ocean, I'm not scared of drowning. I'm just thinking of what's right here. Like the shock. Mm -hmm. you know, is that not my biggest fear, even as a kid? Like when you're swimming in a pool. Tell me <laughs> as a kid when you're swimming in a pool, you didn't always think there was a shock. Yeah, what? The creepy crawly. We had to take a creepy crawly out when we were swimming as kids. No, I, used to, I used to be dead scared, bro. My biggest fear was that there was a shock, especially do you in remember the swimming seal, pool. Do you remember Josh? seal swimming pool? Yes. Do you remember that big one that used to go like down yeah. with your kids? Yeah. I always used to think I'm like, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> there's something in this water. But I've because that's what scared. every kid watched some mm. movie where there's a yeah. mad shark or a yes. crazy deep blue sea. Something. Boy. Mm. I respected the sea when I mm. got my first dunk. Yeah, it's horrific. Eh? My gosh, mm. bro. What and I was young, eh? Shout out Stephanie Bruce and Michael's Beach, 2007. Sure, this is traumatic. <laughs> you even yes. have the death. So <laughs> it was 3.21 p.m. Oh, right. You, wait, you were the white friend. So white right. friend. <laughs> I knew. Take, it, take, it, take it out to the beach for the first time. Yeah. All right, Chucks has been taken out to the beach for the first time. First time, eh? Yeah. I was like, wow, what is this beautiful body of water? No, no. I promise you, it was my first time. How old were you? I was in grade... No, it wasn't 2007. It was England World Cup. I think it was 2004. Mm -hmm. I think I was in grade five or four. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. What was yeah. it like seeing the ocean for the first time like, at that wow. age? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, what happened was um, when I was younger, I was I had already been there, but I was too small to remember. Mm. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So there's a photo of me. Okay, but this time I was there and I was, I think I was I was young, man, grade three or four. And I saw this sea. I was like, cool, 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 cool. And then um I don't know who it was. One of the parents said, Chaka, never turn your back on the sea. I was like, Big oh, time, like, yeah. It's a beautiful quote, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> never turn your back on the ocean. Yeah, don't turn your back on the ocean. Anyway, we went to swim once. And I mean, okay, I know how to swim, but the buggers are out there in their boogie boards. Mm. So everybody's getting a boogie board. I'm like, what the flip is that? Oh, that's cool. Let me grab Cute. one. And then they're like, hey, this is what we do. So you're going to have to, the wave comes and you're going to either go over the wave or you go under the wave. That's how I learned. So I was yeah. like, all right, cool. If it's too big, whatever. I was like, all right, like a, then they went. And the white kids, they go far, guys. Yeah. Far. Yeah, yeah, they go out of depth, boy. So I'm like, all right, let me try to catch these oaks. Okay, then I, I go. And then the big wave comes. While it's coming. But oh, now I don't no. know. Do I go under or do do I try to go over this? Oh, over. Shame. Silly chucks was Yeah. It's a horrible feeling. And then it, when it dunked me, bah, I, I thought I wasn't gonna get out of there. And you don't know which way is up. Yeah, because like, that's literally what it feels like. <laughs> it's literally what it feels like. <laughs> what are you in the water, you're like, oh, and then eventually you're out, you're like, whew, um, back to shore. No, it's back horrible. to shore. It's a terrible feeling. Back to shore. Shame, you got back to shore. <laughs> back to shore. 
<laughs> back oh to shore. Soul. And I was like, lacquer. Never no. again. I was like, lacquer. But I enjoyed That's the That's why when you go out with white mates, there's some things we cannot do. I've learned, bro. There's this guy on Instagram, a uh, South African oak, oh. who is walking around with his phone at night and there's a torch and then he'll You'll go into the oh, the, the thing yeah, and, the and Amazon guy. yeah, whatever. He opens a this rock, a rock, and he goes, yeah. "Oh, this is a flipping uh, uh, a yeah. snake, whatever snake it is. I don't know." And I'm like, "Dude, what are you doing, bro? bro what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you fighting the problem? No, no, no. Hold on, boy. Yeah. That's not a white person thing. That's a boy thing. Yo, yo, straight up, that's no, a dude I'm, thing. What? Then I'm a girl. Uh, they're not identified no, as a woman. My boys in Shanghai no Lembe would not play around with the yeah, snake. Yeah, that's so true. Because also that's a very specific kind of person who's like into hiking. So deep sea deep. diving, <laughs> bro. The, I can't do. Look, that. it's all adventurous and it's beautiful, bro. I think it's beautiful. It is beautiful, I but it, it, you have to be. Because my people feel strong. attacked. No, I think, <laughs> no, I really but think it's, it's beautiful. It, it takes it takes a certain, uh, I don't know, caliber. like a grounding, to, in, to be in touch with nature. Yeah, so facts, much. Facts. But, but like the snake thing and the shark thing for me, hey, bro. Like, I, 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 like, I love uh, the Kruger. Like, yeah. you, you saw know, that video at the Kruger. No. The, the cheetahs. Oh, with the cheetahs. Have you seen that? Okay, now, no. Now, what there's a video where the, the cheetahs get into the, the car. The, 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 car. the ranger car, whatever yeah. they're called. Yeah. In. In someone on the Pagati. roof. Yeah, but cheetahs of all of them are the most chilled. Yeah, but now who's, who, who are you to tell me that? Yes. Gary? How um, do you know the fact, cheetahs? How the hell and do science. you know? I won't That's believe your... anybody that yes. tells me no, that. Okay, I, I don't know. Yeah. I haven't like studied it before. Everyone yeah. was like, oh, the cheetahs are the ones that can be domesticated and those are the ones that are like really? more chilled. Like Imagine. a leopard. No, I'd have a leopard yeah. jumped in, I'd be like, Death. Yeah, so, you would jump in, you'd be like, is that a leopard or a cheetah? And apparently lions discuss? are just dicks, you know? spots. Yeah. yeah. But I think like the cheetah. But these things were did anything in the happen? car. You, wait, so no. the one actually went like forward like this and there was a white guy who was so confident. Did you see him? He uh, even took his iPad no, like this. Legends. No. Legends. Legends. No. I would have been there like. Yeah, I also would have <laughs> shouted myself. Like, no. obviously. That's not for me. That's, there's certain things I can't do. Physically, I can't. And I always express that to my partner. I say, listen, there's some things I can and can't do. <laughs> do, you, do, you want to do, do you want to talk do, about this more? Please, please, please ex expand. <laughs> Look, because my girlfriend used to live in Cape Town, bro. And you know Cape just Town? just a thumb, Cape, Town, Cape Town's got a culture where people are going on hikes. Yeah, yeah. Like it's out of fashion. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, you got to climb lines here. You got to, dude, you haven't done lines here. Oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do lines here? You got to bro? climb lines here, boy. If you haven't climbed lines here, then you're not really Cape Town. I'm like, probably okay. not. I'm from KZN. I'm yeah. not going to climb. So that lines head hiking thing, I don't enjoy hiking. <laughs> Secondly, I find no need at all for me to be in water that's above my belly. No. Like the bathtub's enough. Don't you like no, swimming bro, at but all? swimming is dope. No, swimming in a pool that's enclosed and clean and I can see the bottom, I'm happy. Yeah. The moment I can't see, even dams. The yeah. moment I cannot see. The dams are filled with bodies. I don't, yeah. yeah. don't want to be in it. There, there was a, a, a video that went viral now. I think it was about the Orange River or something like that. Where they've been finding bull sharks and all that nonsense, oh bro. My and people gosh. go there and chill like white people in their tubes and stuff. Like, oh my gosh, great time. <laughs> There's bull sharks and the guy's like, there's a 0.1% chance that it can actually attack you. I'm like, I do not want to be that 0.1% chance. But Josh, you can't tell chance. me that anyone of color hates nature. That's what you're basically saying, like. No, no. I'm saying I'm on my behalf. Okay, no, well, yeah, on my behalf. yeah, yeah, yeah. But Josh, you aren't exactly on. No, because I, I don't hate nature. I don't hate nature. I'm yeah. just saying there's some things I can't do. I don't, I, I I'm, respect, not, I'm not strong enough I to respect do. nature. Yeah, of course. I respect nature. There, yeah. there we go. I, I don't hate it. I respect. I respect. I respect. I respect it as I'll well. be like, and I'm I in the wild. Push its boundaries. This is your territory. I'm going to get in my car and I'm going to go back to where yeah. I came from. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Simple. Easy. I'm out. Simple. But like the 5 a.m. hikes and then your family's going to exercise at 6 a.m. on holiday. Boy. Yo. <laughs> hey. Boy. Uh, look, I like hiking. Like uh, just the, I wouldn't mind, but yeah. like, don't tell me. You haven't done lines here, bro. Yeah, it's but not, it's not serious. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it makes you feel any better. I lived in Cape Town eight years and I never walked up lines here. Is it? What? Did yeah. you do lines here, bro? I've done lines here. And? It was a terrible experience and it's for another episode. Do you know what I feel about hiking? <laughs> I hear you today. Yeah. Yeah. today. I want to hear about lines because I've never done it, but I'm being peer pressured into doing it. Now, so I'm at a point. I was just gonna say, no, no, because we're coming to you. Yeah. But I love. I mean, 
a long walk. It's not that yeah. I, you know, to not be, to not enjoy being outside. But yeah. I feel like with hiking, because it's, you're walking up rocks and then you have to look down at your feet the whole time. Mm. So I'm basically, you know, like you like this with your phone anyway. Mm. So when you're hiking, it's this, because you're watching your feet and you're looking mm. where you're stepping. And for me, I want to have my head up if I'm walking. So like I love a long beach walk or something because I don't have to be like this. Mm. And then you get to the top. Yeah, but even then it's like, make sure you guys, there's snakes or whatever. So Ooh. for me, I hike, I, if I, I don't not hate the movement, mm. but it's mm. the having to watch my feet the whole time. That's a bit mm. of a rash. Mm. Mm. But then once you get to that destination, like a lion's head hike, when you get to the top, it's beautiful, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, but you also yeah. get there by chopper. Yeah. Okay. There we go. How's it that, like? That's when you don't. Okay. Da- that's when you date the dad boy. Yeah, now if you got a brother, yeah, you're walking up, yeah, baby. Yeah, <laughs> you're walking yeah. up. The six pack boys, you're coming six with me. Six pack boys, you're coming yeah, with yeah, me. Yeah, it's all about yeah. fitness and health. Exactly. Yeah. Anyone, Jay? It, I'd like to talk about um, Chuck's experience with the lion's head. Yeah, yeah, off you go. Off what you happened go. there? Flipping out. Right. What happened there? Let me start from the top. I hope you guys have time. I'm gonna get comfy. Let's get comfy. Yes. Lion's head, Cape Town. 2018, mm. I think. I think it was 2018 or 17. Mm. Myself, uh, a colleague from work, and our boss, we went to Cape Town, right? We get there. And um, we were arriving late in the afternoon. I think it was like four o'clock, right? Yeah. And we were, we, were, we, were, we had a meeting the next day. So we said, okay, we're going to come the, the night before. We got a meeting in the, early in the morning. My boss at the time, fitness guy. Okay. Bro, he is fit. Caucasian. Uh, yeah, fit. He's ran plenty of comrades. Yeah. You know, he's just one of those fit guys. Mm. And yeah, endurance. Oh, thank you. In, endurance <laughs> to the max, right? Yeah. He says, guys, why don't we just... Open, go up lion's head tonight today and we'll, and we'll and we'll come come down. I'm like Casual. I'm like Brett. What, what, oh Brett, can yeah, you come? Yeah. Oh. I'm like Brett. <laughs> Brett, what, what what do you mean? He's like, no, bro, you can go up and we'll, we'll go down. Yeah. I'm like, Brett, it's it's four o'clock. So how long is it gonna take us? He's like, should be should be back down by Hopper's five. <laughs> <laughs> so that's so when you know. I'm like, I'm like okay, one and then, a half hours. So, but you see, I'm in the new place, so I'm gonna trust the guy yeah. who's done this a yeah, couple yeah. of times, you know. So I'm like, all right, like uh, say to my colleague, are we going, we going, we going. So I put on my stuff, and we start. <laughs> now we're going, we're going. <laughs> Brett, fitness guy. 10 miles ahead of us. Where you guys, hey? He's like, hey, come on, Alex. Come, come. We're going to catch up. You've got to catch up. We're not going to make it back in time. Oh, my. That's what he's telling me. So I'm like, well, why don't we just turn around? Yeah, yeah. This is a good no, point. No, no, no. We, we're here now. We're getting to the top. Apex, boy. <laughs> now I'm like, okay, we're going, we're going, we're going. <sighs> You're breathing. Other oaks are walking down. I'm like, yeah, like, hey, guys, you cool. Walking up, walking up. <sighs> now. We get to this part. Now, right to the top, we get to this part where you, I've got to climb a bloody the chain, chain, the chain ladder. ladder. Oh, I'm like, the now, chain now, ladder. now I wasn't briefed on this. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't told about this chain ladder. Yeah. And I don't do these chain ladders. <laughs> so I'm climbing up this thing and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can hear my mom. You know when you can hear your mom saying, what are you doing, boy? I thought you meant your mom was on your own. No, <laughs> she's in the back the of my head up. saying, what are you doing? This is not I how we were raised. I did not birth a Caucasian. <laughs> yeah, she's like, this is not how we were raised. Okay, so I climbed this thing. I'm like, great, bro, I'm very tired. Come on, you know. He's like, no, we write you, we write you, we write you. We get to the top. <laughs> I don't want to speak to him. I'm pissed because I'm so tired. Did you not enjoy that view? The, the view was great. Okay. Same view we from get, the plane though. We hey? get there. <laughs> we get there. We take a selfie. I'm like, oh, this is actually quite nice. Qua! Lightning. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Lightning. Qua! Lightning. So break goes, guys, we got to get down. I'm like, wait, wait a second, wait a second. We just got up here. Yeah, we, we, we just got you. No, we got to get down. Everybody's got to get down and, and we can't, and, and, and then all of a sudden. No two, time to waste. Ten, five minutes later, clouds, dark. 
Yo. Yo. I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, this is it. This is it. This is like survival. In my head, I'm like, all right. You see, I hate this. This is how I die. I'm just preventing myself from even going. I'm like, all right, this is it. This is it. And he's like, okay, we got to take the short way. The short way is back down the chain ladder. Down the thing. I'm like, no, nah, bro. No, 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 no. <laughs> He's like, Chucks, we got to go. 911 must fetch me we here. We got to go. I'm like, flip. So everybody is mo- moving now. Those who are up top. Mm. I'm holding this chain letter. It's raining. It's wet, guys. Oh, no, it's no. slippery. No, bro. no, 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 no. It's slippery. No. I promise you now, I'm probably living in a dimension where I probably died at Lion's Head. And I'm, I'm, it's a new me. Okay. Because I'm Reborn. telling you guys, I don't, know, I don't know how I got down there. Yeah. I don't know how. Because as we're climbing down, there's more lightning. It's your ancestors screaming, bro. I'm that like, was your ancestors saying, wait, I'm, like, me, boy. I'm like, this is the last white thing I'm going to do, bro. I'm like, this is, this, I'm not doing this. Yeah. My last white activity. Yes. Yo, Bafo, <laughs> not today. <laughs> Yo. So they were raging yeah, at you. We, we, go, uh, we got down. It was, I think it was like six o'clock, dark, lightning. And I looked at him. I said, never again. Never ne- again. Never again. That's it, bro. That's the Lion's Head story. actually, yeah. Yeah. But you know, that's what amazes me. I think bro. the three of us should swim mid my mouth like, together. No, get, get out of here. No, no, get out of here. Come you on, just we'll do the family mile. swim. That's not happening. Yes. Come on, Dan can do it with us. White, white folks are very in tune <laughs> with nature, bro. Like yeah. they, they very, very in tune with nature from a young age. Let me tell you how I know this. First of all, okay? Lars, because our African brethren actually on tune with nature, like the farming, yeah, the understanding, that's in tune with yeah, nature. Yeah, yeah. No that, shoes. That, that, that yeah. happens. But I'm tracking in animals. tune with nature, boy. Like they, they ready to embrace it now. Like we've made it to the urban areas and stuff. And <laughs> we don't want to go camping and shit anymore, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, you know, yeah, we yeah, done. Yeah, but I'm saying like I the hiking you. stuff. and Hiking a tree, you know, the usual. And I've just come to, to realize that because recently we had an incident where the bird flew out of its cage. Oh, yes. The blue macaw. The macaw bot flew out of his cage. Like right? an expensive. And by the way, the way you said bird flu, I thought your family Yo, came down with bird no, flu. Bird oh, flu. The bird yeah. flew so out of cage. So my girlfriend's dad loves birds. Like he's passionate about birds. And right? quack, quack. Not yes. like just dolls. Not no, dolls. Like birds, birds. Like birds. Like birds. Yeah. <laughs> Like macaws. Yeah, but you keep saying it like you mean women. No, 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 He's like, like, no, like birds. Like, ooh, birds. birds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll just paint the picture, right? I got there to their house and this guy is always festive. Like my girlfriend says, always festive. Like he's always having a drink, you know, Mm. loves a good time. And I walk in and he's laying on the couch in a feet. Fetal position. Oh, my like shame. This. Oh, shame. And <laughs> the lights are off. And I'm like, I'm like, yo, something's wrong. Shame. You know? like, what's going on? Yeah. So I say to my girlfriend, I'm like, hey. Is, is it all good here in the house? Like, like, Bitcoin got mine. Everything, <laughs> everything fine. What happened to Pop? She's like, nah. The gardener left the cage door open when he was cleaning and bought the male, who's like this big, flew out. So really? Like, yo, 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 yo. So yo. my question there is, isn't that what birds do? Yes, they fly. Okay. But he's got a huge enclosure. Yes. That he, he's, he's had birds forever. So right? it's big enough for the bigger, birds. Yeah, to, they fly inside. They yeah, fly inside. Yeah, they yeah, fly yeah. inside. Um, and I was like, yo, so I said to her, so what's the plan? She's like, hey, she doesn't know. He's not having a drink. The TV's not on. The lights are off. It's Shame. 7 o'clock. proper depressed. Depressed. Yes. Yeah. So, I, so I go to him I'm like, hey, listen. Maybe we need to go find these birds. Well, like now it's my role as well. Well, like this now, is now I'm climbing this up is the my ranks. chance to be the hero. You know what I mean? You know. This is my chance to climb the to ranks. To be a hero, now. Or yeah. go and buy one quick. quick. Yeah. yeah, this I is need to my climb chance. the ranks. Yeah. yeah. So, anyways, I get my girlfriend to drive us, and we start looking for this bird. It's like seven o'clock, eight o'clock at night. It's dark. Do these birds respond to calls? Like, can you go? Birds. No, 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 no. They're not dogs. They're like so how they're do animals. You, so, like, what do you just? No, no, no. Dog, no. Dogs I'll, are I'll explain. I'll explain. So, like, these these birds are like attached to one person, bro. Like him. Like they love him. You know what I mean? Like if I go there to feed them, like I shouldn't have found him because he hates me, bro. Like he always attacks. Me. Did you just give us the, the ending? He found, no, 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 no. Found yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, <laughs> anyways, this bird. <laughs> this bird, we looking, looking, and then you know the weather starts raining. It's misty. So I'm trying to remind him so, of lion's head. Lion's head, my lover. You're lion's okay. Head sorry, take a deep sorry, breath. Sorry, it's okay. Sorry, <sighs> sorry. It's okay. We, so now we're trying to you. find this bra. <laughs> we like torches, whatever. I say, listen, why don't we send a message out with his picture? 
on all the community groups and we can try and find is it. there a reward yeah yeah so okay. that's when i knew white people know nature the next morning we oh, get a message so you're gonna land this plane now yeah. okay, okay. so the next morning we get a message from this neighbor she's like okay when i when i saw them i was like hey how's it guys cool because they spotted the bird so i'm like how did you guys spot it she's like no, I just woke up in the morning and then I heard this cry and it was very different to a usual bird's cry. And I said, <laughs> no, this must be a macaw. Uh, must be a macaw. Must be and a I'm macaw. Like, oh, you know, it's a macaw, bro. Yeah. I can barely choose rainbow chicken yeah. over another chicken. Right? Seizing well, they're not making noise. You know what I mean? No, no, but still. Filleted is filleted. You, you you but I mean a bird, bro. Like mm. When I hear any bird, I'm just like, it's a bird. I keep... But Keep going in my day. It's the same when you hear. <laughs> you know, it's the it's same like when you hear an engine, though. I was a okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Pa, 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 pa. Like that's a, you'll that's be like GLE forty three. There it is. You or know what I mean? Guy so those are your birds. One. Yeah, the Golf one, or you'll be so like that's the, a Yaris. The lady was like, "No, she heard a cry, whatever." <laughs> we get there, and this guy is literally like twenty meters up in a tree, like right at the top of the tree. I'll show you guys the picture after this, and we're like, "Okay, so what can we do to get him down?" So I say, why don't we get the female in another little mini cage, bring her there and like ah. mm, six cells, eh? <laughs> Call your boy, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> She's not buzzing because the boy's just parking. He's like, oh, I'm outside now. I've seen what's good here. I don't want to come back home. Leave oh, me, you know? Shame. Free me, boy. I've seen other girls out here, <laughs> you know? So we park, park, park. And then this is the second day. The sun's setting. We're like, hey, what can we do? Let's find the fire brigade because they've got those ladders. But there's no fire. No, yeah, but, but they no, do. They, they help with pet rescue. Yeah, yeah. They so do. So oh, they have yeah. the ladders. waste of government resources. Hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, even, don't even get there. Don't even yeah. get there. Let me let me end the story <laughs> yeah. quickly. Fire brigade pull up in a bantam. In a bantam. <laughs> Oh no. A bantam? Where's no, the hose at the back? Like a hose? Hey, where's the fire? I'm like, where's, where's the, where's like, the no. ladder? They're like, <laughs> they're like, no, they knew there was a bird. So I was like, yo, but we need the truck with the ladder. You know the one when you're a kid, you buy it? Yeah, and it has a ladder because you, you want to get it to get on. They're like, yo, bro, that thing's been decommissioned for years. Oh my so I'm like, God. What happens if there was a fire fire? They're like, We'd put it off with the bantam. So what did they stand on each other's shoulders? I don't know. That's what I don't know. Because now there's no, the, the that's it was decommissioned. So I was like, okay, cool. It's fine. We need to speak to someone in the fiber game. We, for real. We, we, couldn't, we, couldn't, we couldn't get him. Um, and then yeah, so the we, next day we had to go to bed. Uh, the next day, wow. another neighbor calls and says, hey, listen, they've spotted him. He's in the yard. We get there. He's like eight meters up. Cool. We get a ladder and we try to entice him with the female and food. And then he walks down eventually because he's hungry. And then we grab him, put him in the cage. The hero. And then we go. Josh, the hero. So, yeah. Part-time bird catcher, boy. Big cool. discount on his Lobola negotiations. Big, Big massive bird. discount. I'm the price. I got there. the bird, bro. Yeah. I got the bird. Now pops mm. in low me like this. How long ago was this? Two weeks. Yeah. Two oh, two weeks. It's already it's recent. Very fresh. Two weeks. I'm very basically fresh. married, eh? <laughs> yeah. oh, does your, does your girlfriend fresh. live with her dad? Yeah, mm. well, they she's just moved back because she's doing some work on the side for now. Oh, she's um, moved back in with the parents? Part time. Yeah. Part time. Shame. That's so hard. Guys, I have to tell you. Yeah. Tell us. I have moved back in with my parents. Oh. What is that like? What is that like? So I'll tell you why also. This court case, CCMA, arbitration, everything has just yeah. drained me like flat, sure. honestly. And you can't sure. expect someone else to pay your rent. Mm -hmm. And I did try to find anyone else that would home me mm. for a while, mm. but it was been over December and Christmas period mm. and whatever else. And my sister was like, go to mom, go to mom. And then the <laughs> siblings group, we got a group with me and my sister and brother called Sybils. And I was just like, I was like, I can't, like I'm 40, I can't go home. And not like because my parents' house isn't lovely. It's just you're adults and you have your own way of living. Mm. And um, how has it been? Mm -hmm. What's the challenge? <sighs> so... The number one thing, and mom and dad, if you're watching this, I love you so much and I'm so grateful for the room. Mm -hmm. We just have a different idea of what um, aesthetically pleasing is. Oh, okay. One of us think that minimalism and not clutter is ideal. Mm. And two of them think that everything <laughs> you own must be on display. Yeah. Live, laugh, love, faith, heaven, and hope. So... <laughs> 
It's a lot. I can imagine. Like the it's a lot. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's the and, it's and, wooden, yeah. and it's very yeah. sweet because my mom, she's got the grandkids, she's got mm. us, she's got our stuff from all the places and they moved from a much bigger house to this house and it's a beautiful place and it's in Glen Ashley and it's so lovely. It's just like a lot of stuff everywhere and mm. I like would always like light incense and obviously I'm not just coming home and like lighting a spliff and my incense and my mom said the incense is better for the dog so I'm not allowed to have incense and I have to go and like have a sneaky joint outside even though they know it's just like you feel what all- you, what, do you smoke joints in the house? No, no, well, in my own house. Oh, hectic, man. I would. Yeah. Because, I mean, it doesn't, the smell isn't there. And I'd only have like a two drag and then put it out, you know? Yeah. It's like a, it's Toopy. like topping up. Yeah. But you, and then it's their way because it's their home. And so no incense and no this thing. And then they cook their way and they clean their way and they do things their way. And they wake up and they put on the news. And I just like don't watch the news because I don't know who to trust with news, firstly. Mm. So, and you, and it's a lot because now I'm so used to doing it my way, but it's not my house. Sure. But it's interesting because I know a lot of people and you just said like something, your girlfriend's moved home now as well. Mm. Um, I was at a dinner or lunch the other day with four girls. Three of us are currently living with our moms. Mm. Yeah. Like it's, I mean, look, it's something you have to do, especially financially. You have mm. to have a roof over your head. And again, mm. so grateful, but you know, there's a, a saying and I understand why it says, if you think you are enlightened, spend a weekend with your family or your parents, mm. because it is, think about it. You do resort a little bit to that 16 year old version of you, where even though you are a grown ass adult, these are your parents and they mm. think you are their child. Mm -hmm. And it's like, this is how we do things in my house. And I'm like, but mom, it's so cluttered. But mom, your pantry's got stuff from 2017. And she's like, I don't care. It's mm. my stuff. And I'm like, but I don't understand. Yeah. So what do you say to a person? Yeah. Who's, so some people are like, but Kiri, you, you're moving in. Yeah. Just, why don't you just sit by the tea and, and, just, tease, bro. and just keep your head down until you get yourself out of there. Mm. Um, yeah, but I think because it's your parents. So if I came and moved in with one of you guys, I would probably have way more compassion because I'd say like, you're just a mate and you've got me and I'm so grateful. And I, I would mm. offer to help like, oh, your pantry, I can see stuff is out of date. Like guys, out of date. Mm -hmm. Best before 2020, 2019, 2018, 2017. Today I saw a 2012... Today I threw out something that was from 2012. 2012. 2012. Trick, bro. That's Best 12 before. Years ago. That's so there's a lot there That's that I'm years. like I'm trying to figure out. That's oh yeah, 12, 12, 20, 12 years ago, oh, bro. Fuck yeah. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Sorry. We will get that discount and then refund our school fees. <laughs> yeah. 2012. Yeah. 2012, eh? So and maybe it isn't my place, but at the same time, I'm just like. I wonder if there's, they've I got some know. old lotto tickets that we can see. No, no, they're on there with the lotto, trust. Okay. They're on it with the lotto tickets. I was going to say, we could catch some in there, yeah. I don't know, because I also, and again, it's each their own. I believe that stuff carries energy. So if you look at our studio, mm. imagine we had shit everywhere. It's, it feels a lot. Mm -hmm. But maybe if that stuff matters to you, and I have to understand that our parents come from a different generation where their mm. parents went through a war. Mm, yeah. And so there was a thing of not enough, not enough. What if we run out? What if, what if, mm. what if? And then I came into the, oh, there's so much clutter around me that I am almost, I'm too quick to get rid of stuff, mm. maybe, you know? Mm. But um, living with two other adults, and they're not your friends. And again, I mean this respectfully, like parents mm. are parents, you can get on with them, but they're not your friends. You're not like, mm. There's a certain part. Oh God, it's hard, course. guys. Mm. I really, and I'll be honest, and this is maybe, this is not like a fun part of the podcast, but mm. I have had the lowest time of my life recently. It's mm. just, you know, you lose a job, you move, obviously also relationships don't mm. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. necessarily it all It all just happens it at through. once. Mm. It's and then like, you move home. Yeah, it just it all just happens at once. Bang. Diamonds only become diamonds under immense pressure. Oh, go fuck yourself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just sorry. Make you feel I nice. apologize yeah. for my language. <laughs> I apologize. And I, do, and I love yeah. you and I take that back. No, but like, I, I understand that it is what it is. And we yeah. all, and, uh, and you do, you get to learn compassion for other people because yeah. it is a, it's a big deal. Mm. It's a big deal. So what's the next step with, because uh, every time people see, your name yeah. on, on our podcast. Yeah. They're like, when are you going to tell us about that uh, radio station? So can I when tell you, you East Coast has us? made it very hard. They've yeah. made it very difficult. I understand why, because I'm exposing stuff that they but don't want to be exposed. About you put IG. it on your Instagram but, live. Yes, but then they said nothing about it. I hate it. And then someone pulled some advertising and within a few hours of those people pulling advertising after I put up a story, I got actually, me and my lawyer really got sent like a defamation letter, I basically saying that we're trying to do something in regards to the business. And it was, Verly's reply to it was remarkable, 
but it's just getting like super ugly now. But I'm at the mm. point where I miss my job so much and mm. I don't hate the brand. Like the actual radio station didn't do anything. These mm. are the people representing it. That I'm at the point now where if someone said, would you, would you go back on air? I actually would. Mm. Mm. And it's not like taking back your ex. It's not mm. that. Mm. It's that I miss my job so much. And obviously I get to do this with you guys, but this is once in a while, you know, mm. it's like the three mm. of us are together once in a while. This was an everyday thing. This year was 20 years I was on radio. Sure. Really? Yeah. And That's so CCMA time. is carrying on. I've yeah. got, I have to go for a, um, an occupational therapist's like a assessment on the, in the end of Jan for, for them to see if actually am I mentally well or mm. am I making this a bigger deal than it needs to be because mm. obviously East Coast is like mm. Mm. and then what are they pulling the mental card or they're like nah she's not well oh well I'm not sure if that's what has to happen mm. when oh. you go to court well, yeah, yeah. I th and then I'm, CCMA again the 1st of yeah. Feb yeah because I'm assuming that the, the CCMA well, it was, this whole ordeal would have affected her uh, mental, her mental health, health yeah. yes sure. which will affect every it's going to be a spiral you know, mm. I, am I am I wrong? You're not wrong. I actually I'm like holding back tears a little bit now because it's yeah. been fucking hard. Like it's, it's yeah, man. I'm, and I'm really I'm not trying to get um, sympathy or pity, and mm. it is a path that I have chosen to go down. But like you know, I realized that I would never put this on anyone. Like mm. uh, arbitration and court cases and. Mm. People just being so nasty to you. And the worst thing is, is that Darren and Sky and Carmen are carrying on. They're doing their show every day. They're still getting to do this thing. And I still listen. That's the worst thing is that I listen and I, I imagine like what I would say. And it's just like, it feels like my, yeah, like my husband has left me and he's carried on with his own life. And I'm still on the sideline just watching. You know, to this day, I still have never been able to get my stuff from my locker. Mm. I've never been able to clear up my locker. Well, like, Maybe, isn't that crazy? I feel it's like you stole something. It's like I was caught mm. making like some disgusting like child porn or something, something horrific. Yeah, I feel like I have, wild. and it's really affected me and it's affected everything. I mean, God, this, this last year, job, the money, the house, the relationship, living at home now, off, eh? because what? Because my co-host didn't like me. That's how this whole thing started. Mm. That's why I'm refusing to back down, even though I'm at a point now where I have nothing to draw on anymore. And like Verley is trying to help me find someone to help like sponsor for litigation mm. because of how much cash it takes. For what? They, East Coast yeah. has spent so much money fighting me. Mm. And I think, you know what? These guys want to come make up money for Toy Story and you want to go and, you know, put money together to to help this you know, Lady Smith after the flood. You want to put, how about you stop spending your cash fighting me? Mm. How about mm. that? Mm. Yo, like now they're just flexing a muscle mm. because you don't want to be seen to be a bully. Mm. Anyway, sure. yeah. Are we are we gonna get back on the onto onto air? Mm. I mean, look, chances. <laughs> I mean, the chances. Yeah. Uh, right now, if something happened, because I miss it so much. Yeah, if sure. something happened, that would give me an opportunity to. If you guys said we could record an episode two times a week, or I could mm. go back there, I would choose you guys. I would choose you guys because. This yeah. is definitely like my heart space and I'm not having to do advertising for, you know, the, the golden arches Talk or whatever. Delicious. Yeah. Mm. I get to be more me, me here, mm. but I really miss the, the medium of radio. And well, I feel I mean, like there's your, a lot of people that. That's your life. Mm. Yeah, like it was. You, you've done something for so long. It almost becomes routine for you, mm. you know? But yeah, then you've got to like not try and resist it. You've mm. got to understand that shit changes, you know, mm. it's like. Mm. Yeah, there's what you resist persists and all of that. You grow through what you go through and mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. But I, mm -hmm. now that it's next month, guys, February is one year since I was on air. Oh, That's one, how, year. one year. No, nah, they must just, they must just sort out this thing. Yeah. Just, now it's too late to sort it out Sorry, now. Bro. Now we've got to that ugly part where now we were like, um, toxic. Ex what was with that couple that, that, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Like, oh they were, my word. Heard that, like, oh my word, yeah. They're, that they want to shit on my pillow. That was wild, what happened bro. to that chick? Did she go to jail? No, no. bro. She's still in Aquaman. All no. Good. Yeah, she's still got her role in Aquaman. Well, actually, to be fair, I would watch it just to see. Meanwhile, my boy. Uh, Lost Pirates, didn't he? Uh, yeah, no. he, he did lose Pirates in the, in the, in the beginning. Back, yeah. Yeah. Then he was like, nah. Yo, yeah, that was a crazy. That's one, Hollywood, yeah. eh? That's Hollywood because Wild there's also things, man. we also lost um, uh, K, um, Kevin Spacey. No, no, um, Bill Cosby, Jonathan Majors. You know who he is? No, Kang on on Ant Man. <laughs> Creed. Someone, someone, give him a response quickly. Come on, no, you don't know Jonathan <laughs> Majors. No? no, so Creed, the Creed, the movie. 
the box boxing yeah the main uh protagonist the yeah. in, the not michael b jordan but the guy he was fighting against in the latest creed yeah that's jonathan majors i don't know he was kang oh when you see him you'll know him if Wait, I what happened? the harder they fall okay. what happened i'm gone oh my gosh okay. oh jonathan majors still don't know him but what happened <laughs> Like, just keep explaining. Um, him, he had, had a, an epiphany. He, like, oh, I know. He had a, a, a domestic issue as well. Mm. Um, uh, where it, it's alleged that he was ab- abusive to his um, lady. Uh, lady. Uh, then there's footage. Where, uh, so it's not so much allegedly. Well, wait now. There's uh, footage uh. where um, I, I could be wrong, but I, I know th- I know the coaches will coach me. Where <laughs> Where he's having an altercation with his girlfriend, yeah, in in the car, yeah, and then he decides he's gonna, he's gonna run, and they chase each other, bro. She chases him, yeah. Wait, like on foot? I, I, I think she chases. I, chase. I think she chases him, or he chases her. But but it's a it's a foot chase between each other. All right. <laughs> I promise what? you. But who's brother? recording this? It's uh, CCTV. Oh, okay. So you All see right. CCTV, and then he takes a corner, another CCTV, and he takes another corner, another CCTV. <laughs> and she's like, Come and back. they're all running. They're all running. It's a big fight. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is that um, Cat Williams even spoke about it. Really? Yeah, man. Some well, as soon as there's a, a problem with the male and the female. The male is the one who gets punished the most, yeah. big time, until proven innocent. But I think now he was actually found guilty. Oh, is it? Yeah, was according he? to oh. according to what I read, uh, he was found guilty. So he lost. Now we don't have Kang and the next Ant Man. Well, you guys don't feel the pain, but I do. I must try. Then, Sorry. You know, even even a similar thing happened to to Neymar at a time. You watched the Neymar yeah. documentary, yeah, um, where he brought a girl home. But, but but let's talk about footballers. It's going to happen all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But some of them are actually bad. Bro. Some of yeah. them have done bad stuff. Some yeah. of them went in jail and stuff. Yeah. But Neymar's one was a bit odd because I watched the documentary. And um, he brought this girl home, whatever, whatever. And um, she accused him of assaulting her. And um, there's video footage that's come out from his house. Obviously, he's got CCTV. Uh, and she actually hits him uh, and he's trying to restrain her. Uh, but she went to say that he assaulted her and he was like going to be arrested. And I think that's what happened to Kang. And then this girl, fresh. No problem. Such, it's such a fine line yeah. because you know what? For, for every woman who's telling the honest yeah. to God truth, yeah, facts. are those women who are taking a chance yeah. or... I sleep with you and then you don't actually want anything more from me. So now I'm going to say you raped me or whatever. And it's so hectic because GBV is obviously such a real issue in the world. Mm -hmm. And because we know it's such an issue. Oh, how do I say this? Very dangerous. I'm about to say. Sometimes malicious women jump onto that bandwagon when it's maybe not Mm. called for. Mm. And when a woman speaks up, you can't ignore it. Mm. And unfortunately, when a man's name is tainted, you know, if I hear a bad thing about Chucks, it's still going to be in my mind, even Forever. if someone says, yeah. oh, actually, no, because then I think, what yeah. happened that she's changed her mind? When, mm. And it's so unfair. And mm. I just I just wish it's the crying wolf, man. And I just yeah. wish women could understand that there's a lot of good men that whose names have been tarnished because they just didn't... I don't know, do, like the like this the one you was you saying yeah. Neymar now yeah. with that. Mm. Thank that goodness for the footage. Yeah, his yeah. dad had cameras yeah. up in his place. Thank goodness. Like hope, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's hectic. Oh. But yes. Oh. Social media is getting very controversial lately, guys. Just so you know. Yeah, it is. With the uh, Cat, Cat Williams oh. spilling yes. all the beans all about the time. I've been off a lot of social media. Cat so if you want to me the one one. Hot. Did you watch so that? So the one one. I didn't watch the full thing. The one on one is that there's this comedian, Cat Williams. Okay, I know Cat Williams. Yeah, he was on Shay Shay, uh, yes. po- a podcast yeah. or, or show. And he just spilled the beans about all the celebs, Kevin Everything. Hart. Like, like, like Kevin what? Kanye. Yeah. Like what? West. Like what? Like what? Like Illuminati vibes. Mm. Like Kevin Hart is a plant. Yeah. Or what they would say, a plant. Yeah. Um, in the he was, industry. He was doing well there, and now yeah. all of a sudden he's the best in Hollywood, yeah, but yeah. he wasn't even there. So. The here's the here's here's the trick part of this though. We, I don't know. Well, I don't know if what he's saying is true or false. 
But um, it's just interesting on how people are reacting to it. Mm. So go check it out. I will definitely. Hollywood's a crazy place, bro. Crazy I also saw place. someone shared with me, because like I said, I'm trying not to be in the death scroll mode because, mm. and I'm sure you know, if you're not in a great headspace and mentally, get, get out of I there. haven't been feeling very well. Mm-hmm. The last thing you want to do is be seeing everyone's engagement pictures and happy pictures mm. and new home pictures and all the things. But sometimes someone sends me something and I do open and there was a list that had been sent out and again, I haven't checked this myself. This is Epstein. Yeah, Jeffrey Epstein. Ooh. Everyone had gone to his. Everyone had gone to. Now I'm not sure if they were saying. Stephen Hawking was yo, also there. Yo, what was he doing there, bro? The, hey, guy, hey. The, the guy with the thing. Can yeah. you imagine? He so he still has a fantasy, you know. Like, yeah, but you, what are you doing? No, but I wasn't sure if they were saying all these people came here. So maybe this is just a place <laughs> where anyone went, or, or if they were saying and implicating. If, stop it. Uh, stop it. That is inappropriate, Joshua. <laughs> what was Joshua. What was he doing on Epstein's he, Island? He bro? was there. Joshua, you he make fun there. like that. You're manifesting yeah. that for yourself. Yeah. Okay? One yeah. day your daughter will be like that and you'll <laughs> say Yo. why. Yo. No. Yeah. Facts, but it's you'll bad. be like, don't go to that island, girl. But what was he doing there? That's what I'm saying. Everyone of all types, bro. Yeah, but there bro. was a lot of names besides yes. the Bill Clintons and things. Yeah. How did he even yeah. travel there, yeah. bro? Because for him... Michael Jackson? Oh, well, oh, surprise. He was the MJ. Wow. Come know, on. Bro. King of pop. No. King of pop was popping. <laughs> no, Dane, don't react like that to that. <laughs> That's naughty. No, bro, yeah. but the, the 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 list of people that have gone. Yeah. Then there was that big T V Jake scandal as well now with Puff Daddy. Oh, oh sorry. I'm telling, I can't carry, remember the names. Okay, so Jeffrey Epstein okay, so Je- okay, known go. for being like an absolute like when it ca- Porn Island. It's yeah, Porn Island. But Pedophilia yeah. Porn and getting Island. Getting his partner, Max, what was her name? Ma- Gise- Max G- Jill or something. G- yeah. Jillian, yeah. Gile- some yeah. Max Jillian. To actually kind of um, get other girls, to help get other girls to go there to do massages that would give him happy endings, et cetera, et cetera. At the island. And, oh. and, yeah. and so now, and this is the thing is I'm not sure. Obama was on the list. Yeah. And I'm not Obama sure, I swear to God. And I'm not sure if they were saying... This is how many people have been here, so it can't all be so bad. Or if they were saying, guys, this is everyone who's been here. Because it was very young girls cruising around, servicing Trump. the, the Trump. people. Oh. Of, oh, why you act surprised when he says yes. Trump? Are you joking? No, yeah. I don't know who's been. Yes. I haven't read this. So, I so, wish I had so, the list. So, so, yes. So, that's the, that's the, that's the, that's the uh, dodge. dodge. But um, this guy now, Jeffrey Epstein, he killed himself in prison. In prison, yeah. In prison. The the wife is is she still alive? Jelaine. Yes. Uh, as far as I know, but I think there's also something about her. Yes, because it's a massive case that's still ongoing. It's Can still you ongoing. Can pull out his list? Pull, 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 pull out his list. Pull out his list or pass pass my phone. It is. Oh gosh, it's so hectic. But yes. There was a, that documentary. Was it? Filthy Epstein's Rich or Island. something. Epstein. It was something. And they had some yeah. of the girls. It was a South African girl as well that was interviewed on there. And the girls tell their story. Yeah, about they how tell they tell their story. And think about it. You do for cash, man. But bro, if someone's paying you fifty million or whatever, twenty million to keep keep quiet to say, hey, twenty million. Bro, I'm, just saying, I'm just saying. Yeah, Cristiano Ronaldo was not here. You leave it as is. You leave it as is. Good catch. Wow. Sure. Epstein's list. Epstein's list. Epstein's it must be such list. a bizarre thing to But I'm still concerned about out. the people who have gone, bro. It's not like people you'd expect. But there's been lots of talk about that Hollywood crowd and how bizarre they are. And I always think, you know, you're always going to hear stuff. You're always going to hear stuff. Mm. I mean, I um, a girl that I knew from here, her brother-in-law was the PA to um, Kevin Spacey and said that, so this is me hearing from her. So it's secondhand saying like, he really got like a shit deal with all of this. Like it wasn't as bad as everyone. Again, I'm hearing the secondhand. So we hear the story about this dude that's like um, preying on younger men mm. and the people that are there saying he's always been the nicest guy. Mm. You know, the, he was on the Island. Oh, is his name on the Island there also? Okay. Kevin well, Spacey. who else reads something? Okay. Let me give you some, some, and cool what does names. it say? These people were on the Island and they were, Doing dodgy shit. Mm. They're not just like, oh, I went and visited once, had a tea and left. But so my the, name's here. This, this is what it's saying. Here's the full list of people named in Epstein or Epstein's files. I'll give you some of the names. Prince Andrew, second son of Queen Elizabeth yes, II of that. Great Britain. That we know old that. guy. Prince Andrew, but he's like a pedo. Bill Clinton, Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, uh, David Copperfield. No. Okay. Do you know Leonardo DiCaprio? Oh! <gasps> 
lies from your actual mouth. I promise you. Wall Street, bro. Well, Titanic, but yeah, yes, but I mean, Jack, yeah. Do you know Stephen Hawking? Yes. Stop it, stop it. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, MJ, <laughs> told you. Spacey. George Lucas. Oh, Naomi Campbell was there. Naomi Campbell. Oh. Bruce Willis was there. Bruce Willis. Cameron Diaz. My gosh, what was Cam doing? Yeah, but that's the thing. What Charlie's were they doing Angels, there? Boss. Chris Tucker. But no, so they, they're giving a list of people, but what are they saying though? Are they not implicating these people? But it's not an island. People? It's not like a hotel or something. Oh it was my just gosh. A, was it like a shag pad? So... So like? we're gonna have to we're gonna have to watch that uh, documentary again. Because it's, are you scrolling through how many names there are? Right there? Yeah, there's more than a hundred. Um, Yo, but the island in itself, it's just an island with what? Is there like a hotel there, a mall there? What's going on there? Okay. Okay. So I mean, to be fair, put it like this way: Let's say you don't know really Jeffrey Epstein, but you know there's like some weird vibe going on, and someone says, "Guys, for the three of you, we've got tickets for you to go for the weekend. It's going to be a listers. Everything's covered. You yeah. get like, would we not? Would we not say cool? It's not like let's a go. Party's island or what is it? Right? I would love to check it out. That's right? what I'm, but then I'm just asking. Now your name's on a list. Mm. I don't know. Like I don't exactly. know because I'm just asking naively now because. Is it like just an island where they knew stuff was happening on? Or is it like a party island? And now am I thinking like Cameron only, Diaz was serviced by a 16-year-old girl? That's what I'm saying. Like you, you're thinking like, let's think Mykonos, for example, an island. And like how you say Mykonos. <laughs> yeah, like, um, yeah, but I'm just saying. Mykonos. Like the three of us go there on holiday. <laughs> yeah. We're having a fabulous time. What happens if it, I, I'm, I don't know. What happens if it was a party island? Now. Oh, okay. skin doll. But guys, the truth I'm always comes I'm trying to find it for out. you guys. Okay, mm. what is the Epstein list? I don't know how to say this. Doesn't matter. Surname. Everyone knows what you mean. Following a request from the Miami Herald, the judge in the Maxwell case, Loretta Preska, ruled in favor of unsealing the documents from a defamation case against Maxwell, arguing that much of the information was already public. Okay. Epstein, a millionaire businessman charged with sex trafficking, hey. and Maxwell, a former socialite and longtime confidant of Epstein, have faced numerous allegations. They contributed to the sexual abuse and assault of minors and helped other powerful individuals do the same. Epstein's death, which was ruled a suicide by federal authorities, occurred in prison while he was awaiting trial. Wow. Thank you. So you, 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 so you these got names the that have been released are definitely linked to the, the dark side of what happened there. Mm. Mm. There are a number of famous politicians and celebrities who no. are mentioned. In addition to Clinton and Trump, the UK's Prince Andrew, former New Mexico gov governor Bill Richardson and former Senator George Mitchell, among others, make appearances. Clinton and Trump have also fielded allegations of sexual misconduct unrelated to Epstein, though not everyone mentioned has. Thank you. Sure. So there's a lot going on, yeah? Yo. There's a lot going on, yeah? A lot, a lot. Um, so boys, I must let you know that as we are filming this, I'm going to be teaching a yoga class shortly. So someone keep an eye on the time for yeah, me. Okay? Yeah, yeah, we got to no, wrap it up. We got to wrap oh, it no, up. No, I can see the so time. Much. What is yeah. the time? Uh, 10 to. <laughs> yeah. So good we got to wrap it up, yeah. yeah. So season two. Awesome, awesome, off. awesome, awesome. To a good start. And many more. Yes. First one with Kerry for season two. Yeah. Oh, I love um, you boys. You've been doing some good work. Eh? I'm thanks. very proud of you both. Oh, and you. Jane, thank smash you. it. And Mo, you guys are smashing it. You guys thanks. are beautiful. I'm excited to see what this year holds for us. You are beautiful. And if you're watching this and you feel like, you know, dropping a sponsor for please. whatever it be. Sponsor, you know, please. you know what to do. Come through. You know what to do. Yeah. Lovely Truly. stuff. We are the future. <laughs> for sure. Okay, guys, when you see us at the shops, please say, how's it? Lots yeah. of love. <laughs> Bye now. Yeah, give me all your attention. One time for the misfits. Through the doors open on the highway, I promise you I won't miss this. <laughs>